I... I never know which one to use. Now let me see. I... Oh well, I wasn't too hungry anyway. Oh no. No one's talking to the guest of honor. Good manners, social grace, and courtesy are the mark of the successful service woman. They can also be used to describe successful people in all walks of life. Knowing what to do in specific situations is a matter of custom, instinct, education, and good taste. Some of them go on about the length of our skirt. Mm. You know, wow, I really thought I was going to catch it. Did she talk to you about it? Yeah, she talked to me about it. I mean, wow, man, you, you could have knocked me over with a pin. Hey, that's a beautiful dress. Where did you get it? Where did I... Oh, I, uh... Bought it at Lorman's last Thursday. You know, I wish I could wear one of those. They're really cute, but, uh, well, I guess they're a little young for me. But I thought, well, that you didn't dig. Oh, <laughs> excuse me, ma'am. Well, that you didn't like mini skirts and clothes like that. No, now, that's not exactly right. We do have certain ideas about how you should look in your uniform. Yes, About the tailoring, the fit, and how it should be kept. And I guess sometimes we do express these feelings rather strongly. <laughs> yes, ma'am. But uh, really, that only applies to your uniform. How you dress in your off-duty hours is another matter. Now, we do expect the girls to show good taste in everything they wear. But, uh, but that really shouldn't keep you from expressing your own individuality or personality and selection of clothes, hairstyles, and makeup. Yes, ma'am. Uh, take mini skirts, for example. I think they're great, and you look good in them. And uh, I really feel the same way about a lot of the other new and exciting styles. They're all fine in the right place and at the right time. Well, you might say that's the key to the whole thing, the right place and at the right time. And I feel the same way about makeup and jewelry because, well, you'd probably look a little dowdy <laughs> if you didn't wear, you know, more dramatic makeup in the evening, something that would set off your costume. Yes, ma'am. But, uh, well, I really have no argument with any of it, so long as it's appropriate and worn at the right time. I, well, I, <laughs> wow. I really never knew you thought that way about it, Captain York. Well, I can't wear many of the new styles myself, <laughs> but I like them. In fact, I think they're just fine. Well, between you and I, Captain York, a lot of the people around here would be very surprised. You know, some of the girls think that she's old-fashioned, and I don't know, you know, just down with it. Let me tell you something, girls. Anybody that thinks that about Captain York it's like making really one big mistake. You know, she happens to be an, an absolutely groovy person and really a swinger. Boy, you really changed your mind about her in a hurry. Anyway, I'm glad to see that running into Captain York didn't spoil your evening. It didn't at all. Well, that's great, because mine was such a mess. Really? What went wrong? Oh, Everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong. You know, there were all little things, but boy, they really added up and wrecked my evening. The whole thing started in the restaurant. Even ordering the food was a big problem. Uh, no, no, no soup. No, no soup. No soup. No soup. Okay. One, one, and, then, one. Try, and then I will have the roast beef, please. Roast beef. Okay. Roast beef medium rare. Mm -hmm. and, and then I would like to have. Um, okay. and and no, 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 I'm sorry. The, the gentleman would like to bake some cake. I, I want to bake some cake. Uh, no, no, no. No, no. Uh, no. The lady would like to have a roast beef. I'm terribly sorry. Yes. No, no, that's all right. No. It's all right. I would like the roast beef medium rare. Right. And then I would with, like with, to have. Yes, and bake the cake. No. It was a mess, all right. A real mess. And both of us talking at the same time. Wow. The audience got so mixed up, like it was just terrible. Well, that shouldn't give you any trouble, Sandy. That's really no problem at all. You can find out all about that kind of stuff in any book of etiquette. I can. Sure. Here, I'll explain to you how it works. All you have to remember is to always tell your escort what you'd like to have. And then let him place the order for you. That's right, Sandy. Just tell Frank. I would like the shrimp cocktail, please. Roast beef with a baked potato and a tossed salad. Good evening, sir. 
You care to order now? Uh, yes, the lady would like the shrimp cocktail, roast beef, uh, medium rare, medium rare, uh, the baked potato, and a tossed salad. What sort of dressing would you like on that? Oh, Russian, please. Russian, Russian. It was only a little thing, but it was so confusing. I have to stop and think these days, because I can't remember when I'm supposed to open the door and when I'm not. Well, all day long I open doors and stand when I talk to the officers I work with. After a while, you get used to that. But I get kind of confused, because after 1,700 hours, this little pumpkin changes and becomes the lady. They stand for me. Boarding is directed, ma'am. <laughs> and they open doors for me. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, I really enjoyed this being a girl. Oh, oh, yeah, it's right. so great. Well, my dear, I'm glad to see you've got all your problems solved. I wish I could say the same about myself. Oh, come on, Sandy. Maybe you're exaggerating. <laughs> Uh, it couldn't have gone that bad. Oh, it couldn't. Huh? Oh, okay, okay. Come on, tell Mama all about <laughs> it. What happened? <laughs> all kinds of things. I didn't know which one to use, and I didn't want to look like a fool. That's right, Sandy. That's right. The outside one. But that wasn't all. Oh, there's my favorite chaplain. Excuse me a minute, I'll be right back. Hello, Chaplain Mills. How are you today? I'm so happy to see you. Oh, um, Chaplain Mills, I would like you to meet a friend of mine, Frank Parker. Uh, Frank, I would like you to meet Mrs. Mi I mean, um, Come on, Mrs. Sandy, you can do it. Just remember the rules. Always present the gentleman to the lady. In the military, it's the junior to the senior member. And always mention the lady's name first. It's simple. Mrs. Mills, Chaplain Mills, may I present Sergeant Parker? Good evening, Sergeant Parker. People think it's easy, that there's nothing to the social responsibilities a girl has in the service. They just don't understand. I even have the same trouble with Tom. What's the big deal? So you have to set up a reception for the new Sergeant Major. What's so tough about that? What's so tough? Well, you may not realize it, but there's a lot to setting up an affair like this. It just doesn't happen, you know. Well, I would say that the first thing we have to do is to get organized and decide what kind of party we want, where we're going to get the money, how much money we want to spend, things like that. You know, this is a very important event, and, well, I really think we should have a sit-down dinner. No, I don't think that's necessary. Possibly a, a nice morning coffee. Besides, this time of the month, not too few, not too many of us have have money to spend mm. to afford a dinner. Okay. Well, I think it ought to be a reception buffet myself. No, coffee. No, I think it really should be a dinner. No, I think it I ought think to be a buffet. I think we can get the money up if we, mm, if we really try. No. The next thing we had to do was find out how much the unit fund could afford to give us. And that took some doing. And then we had to set up a committee to help select the food and beverages. And that was also a lot of time and a lot of work. And then one of my jobs was to figure out who to invite and to get the invitations out. And if you think that's an easy job, you're making another big mistake. I didn't say it was easy, Susan. I didn't say that. And then I spent all afternoon with the first sergeant helping to set up the receiving line. And then after that, we had to check and make sure everything was according to regulation. Well, I'm glad that's all over with. There'll still be a thousand things to do at the reception itself. I mean, I'll be so glad when tomorrow's over. <laughs> no, it really was wonderful after all. I told you you'd have a good time. What's there to do at a reception? Is that so? Well, let me tell you what can happen if all you think about is just having a good time. We could have had a very embarrassing situation on our hands if it hadn't been handled correctly. There's more to it, Tom, than just having a good time. As an aide, I have to see that it all runs smoothly, that each name is passed on to the line correctly. And that the line flows so that the guest of honor doesn't wind up talking to nobody. You know, getting people to mix and mingle is a very important part of any party. 
Fran, we purposely avoided having tables and chairs at this party so everybody would talk and mingle a lot more, and here are you girls having your own little private party going. Come on, get with it. Hey, girls, wouldn't you like to come and meet the new sergeant major? Come on, she's over there, okay? Hey, that does take a lot of doing, doesn't it? I'm sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean to put you down. <laughs> Good appearance, social graces, personal development of this kind pays off in career advancement, social acceptance, and personal fulfillment. A pretty good deal. <laughs>